what's up? I'm gonna show y'all how to get this uh, get the games working on a SNES ROM on the HD2. So I've been getting a lot of messages how to set it up. I'm gonna show you right quick. Here's the home screen. See, I got the four four dock icon. I just came from using Android, so you know this worked more easy for me. It's uh, another video on there. It's called the Cookie Home Screen Editor. Look it up on XDA how to get get the app set up like this. First, you probably just want to go to your file explorer, make a new folder, call it um I say SNES. I call mine SNES ROMs. That's where I put all my ROMs I download. See, I got Street Fighter, a few games, Mario in there. So after you make that, you can go to the website, whichever site you get ROMs from that you feel comfortable downloading ROMs from. I think I use ROMs-world.com. You can download it right to the phone and unzip it. So after that, go over here, start up Morph Gear. It's the SNES emulator. I'll put the link up for you, or just message me if I forget. Here we go. A lot of people have been asking about the settings to get it to run full screen. Click the icon that looks like a controller and go to SNES settings. I got the screen size on window size. That makes it full screen. I got sound enabled. Sound. Click on sound. Click emulate. And I think from sound, that's all you need to click. And under the speed and memory section, make sure you click on auto sync, frame skip, set it on three. So once again, to get full screen and morph gear, for the screen size, click on window size. You don't have to turn on uh, image smoothing if you don't want to. Sound, make sure you click enable sound and emulate. The other ones just leave. Don't, don't click any of them. Don't check them. After that, click on the arrow, navigate to the folder you put the ROMs in. I put mine in SNES ROMs. Then after that, you can start up. Just click any game, it'll start right up. You see, here's the Street Fighter 2 Turbo. I got a customized gamepad on mine. You can download it on XDA. I'll put up the link for you too. Works with multi-touch. You see it works full speed, no slowdowns, full sound, full everything. And if you want to stop it, just top, tap the top of the screen. There you go. That's how to get the, the games fully running on the emulator. Once again, to get the dock like this, it's called Cookie Home Screen Editor, I think. Somebody has a YouTube video up how to set it up. But look that up. It's like Android styles. Set your favorite apps in there. See, I got the games on here. Facebook. The markets on that one. It's pretty cool. Send me a message though if you still need help. All right.